Hi guys, remember to like my video, share my video, and those who have subscribed to my channels, please do so. Remember to comment, comment, I need your feedback. Comment is very weak, and some not thumb, thumb, thumb like in the video, I call it thumbs up. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So we must always rejoice in the Lord when times are good, when times are bad. Don't care this situation that we find ourselves in. We must always rejoice. Give thanks to God. Same way. All right. Let's read. It's always easy, easy to shout with joy to the Lord when we feel joy. So when we feel joy in our heart, we shout for joy to the Lord. It's not so easy, however, when things are bad, when we are in the worst situation imaginable, when the crucibles beat up on us, yet it's precisely then that we need, perhaps more than ever, to praise God. For praise is a means of helping us sustain faith so when we praise god in our good situation in our bad situation it is a means by sustaining us helping us to praise god to sustain faith in god yes indeed praise can transform every indeed praise can transform even our darkest circumstances maybe not in the sense of changing the, the facts around us but in the sense that it can change us and those around us in a way that help us face challenges true true praise is faith in action it may not always be natural for us but when we practice praise so that it becomes a natural part of our life it has power both to connect and to conquer amen what is praise how could praise be such a powerful spiritual weapon in difficult circumstances how can praise transform us and the situation around us how can change how can praise transform us and the situation around us our daily by day situation situation that we face bad times good times how can praise transform it how can it okay as we know about joshua and the things that went on with the people when they were going to go to the promised land but because of disobedience not listening to god although god was there with them a pillar of cloud by night a fire of cloud by night and a, and a pillar of cloud by day to lead them. They still worship false golden image, worship the idol, worship idol, make things with hearing and different things and worship them and turn away from God. All what God do fall manna from heaven to feed them. They still was ungrateful, want meat and was very rebellious. So after... All those tribulations that Moses went through with them, eventually when Moses died, Joshua was the one who took over and a lot of things was happening and there was, they were to go to Jericho. When they go to Jericho now, there was a high wall and that part them away from going into the city. So they have to shout for, for seven times to get the wall done but before they could do that they need the help of god they could not do it on their own and they didn't know what to do so that is showing us we, without god in our life we can't do things by ourselves don't care we try yes we try and do things but it never work out the best way for us with god in our life things will be much better so i'm gonna read joshua 5 reading from verse 13 and it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man of, um, there stood a man against him with his sword, sword drawn, and in his 
with his sword drawn drawn in his hand and Joshua were and Joshua went unto him and said unto him Hot thou for us are for our adversary and he said nay but but as a captain of the of the host of the Lord and I now come and Joshua felt and Joshua fell down at his feet. It is night, guys, so you know me and the reading, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> and Joshua fell down at his feet to the hurt and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? And, he, and the captain of the Lord of O said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoes from off thy foot. For the place whereon thou standest is holy, and Joshua did so. So, when Joshua was preparing to go and fight the battle, he didn't have a lot of men for the war. So, he was there contemplating, but he was a man of God. And it happened that when he looked, he saw a tall giant. He's the tallest man he ever seen in his life standing with his sword drawn and joshua was wondering who is this man so joshua said to him art thou a servant of the lord joshua was asking him who is he and he was explaining himself but guess what the tall man with his sword drawn who can you tell me who it was it was jesus himself it was jesus himself came to help Joshua to fight the war and to tell him what to do, to guide him in what he should do. So, you see, God was just <coughs> testing the children of Israel to see, to let them know that without him, they cannot do anything. They couldn't fight the war and win the battle without him because he is the chief captain. He's the head of everything. So in spite of all that they were doing and worshiping, other gods and so they, those gods couldn't help them only the one true God could help them and that is the Almighty Father above he's the only one who could help them in their situation remember to like my video and share my video and those who haven't subscribed to my challenge please do so so without faith it is impossible to please God we have to have faith and in in all that is happening around us and with us in our bad times, we have to praise God. In our good times, we have to praise God. Don't care what the circumstances around us may be. We still have to give him the praise. So, peace out. Remember to like my video, share my video. And those who haven't subscribed to Bedroom channels, please do so. Peace out, guys.